Archaeologists dig up an 80-year-old Nazi time capsule in Poland and uncover its chilling contents. It's an archaeologist's job to dig up the past, so any day at work could be radically different than the one before it. And archaeologist discoveries can range from cool Egyptian tombs to relics with a seriously sinister history. And until they start unearthing some artifacts, there's no way to know what they'll find. When a group of archaeologists was on a dig in Poland, they made a disturbing discovery. Underground was a time capsule buried by the Nazis, just waiting to be found. But what would they discover inside? A group of archaeologists in Zloszynek, Poland, unearthed a time capsule buried by the Nazis in an area that had a sinister history. The site of their dig had been Nazi barracks 82 years earlier. When they uncovered the capsule, they guessed its contents might be grim based on what they already knew of the area. The site, which is now considered Poland, was then a city called Falkenberg and part of Germany. At the time, it was a thriving cloth-making, wood and ceramic city. In 1934, a year after Hitler came into power, a Nazi training facility was opened there to raise a new generation of future Nazi leaders. As one of three Nazi training facilities known as NS Ordensbergen, this facility in particular was called Ordensburg Krasinski. In order to train at the facility, trainees had to meet the following requirements. They had to be at least 5 foot 4, have a clean bill of health, and be between 23 and 26 years old. They weren't even allowed to wear glasses. The most important aspect, they had to be purely Aryan. The facility was watched over by Otto Godes. Trainees were required to take classes in world history, philosophy, and politics in the morning, while their afternoons were filled with sports and military training. In 1937, a labor camp was opened nearby and Hitler Youth came to live at the facility. The barracks were massive and contained over 20 living centers, horse stables, and a hall of honor. Adolf Hitler himself was there for the official dedication of Ordensburg. Archaeologists first learned of the buried time capsule because of photos that depicted its burial. The team of archaeologists had to dig through 20 feet of concrete walk through large bodies of water and even dodge Nazi landmines that were left behind. When they finally reached the time capsule, they brought it to Poland's National Museum in Chechen. They were able to get it open using a chainsaw. The capsule contained photographs of Falkenberg, Bronze Reichmark coins, and an event program for the town's 600-year anniversary. There was also a large amount of Nazi propaganda and memorabilia. There were even two copies of the book Hitler penned while in jail Mein Kampf, and several photographs of Hitler. The time capsule also contained pins and letterheads emblazoned with swastikas. There were even cartoons and newspapers depicting Nazi propaganda. The team was careful to document the time capsule's contents. The contents were eventually put on display for the public to view. Due to a law in Poland which prohibits endorsement of Nazi values, the copies of Mein Kampf were displayed face down. While it's such a sinister discovery to unearth Nazi propaganda, perhaps it can help teach future generations not to repeat the mistakes of the past. Share this crazy discovery with your friends below.